Part 7. Let's continue with angles formed by parallel lines and a transversal. You will find this on page 169 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In the figure, AB is parallel to CD. AK is parallel to BD. So it's AK, BD. I will think what we can do. Let's just highlight it. So this one is parallel to this one. And then this one This one is parallel to this one. Okay. So basically, we're going to start. Now, this is very, very important. Always start from the given angle and first work out the nearest angles. So what angle is given? This angle is given, 77. So first work out the angles closest to this angle. So that will be P. Now, P, can you see this green line is a straight line? So P plus 77 equals 180. It's a straight line. Angles, adjacent angles on a straight line. Then I subtract 77 on both sides and I get that the value of P is 103. Okay. It's always good. You can always write it in. 103. Now, to find Q, I can say, um, let's just look in, in this one. This is going to be the F. Can you see the F? corresponding angles. So Q will be equal to that 77. There is my F. And that will be, let's just highlight, there is my F. And that is corresponding angles. So the value of Q is 77 and its corresponding angles because AB is parallel to CD. Then angle R, R is equal to P. What will that be? Alternate angles. Okay, they are equal. So R will be 103. Then angle S, okay, let's see, there is S. This two, they are vertical opposite angles. So S is equal to Q, and so S will be 77. Okay, then I will look at the next one, T plus P. Okay, now I have to move a little bit over. Let's just see where is P. This one, now can you see that this line is also parallel? So there is my C. Do you see that? So I can say that P plus T is equal to 180. It's co-interior. They're supplementary. So to get, I fill in P. I already have P. Then to get T, I just take the 180 and I subtract 107 on both sides. Okay. And then as soon as I do that, I'm going to, this is not 107. This must be 103. So if I subtract that, I will get 77. Okay. So T is 77. Oh, I forgot to write it in. Okay. What was Q? Q, S was 77. Uh, this one was also 77. And R was 103. Okay. And now the last one, we can again work with the interior angles. This is parallel. That's the transversal. And they add up to 180. So to get, I subtract 77 on both sides. And the value of U will also be 103. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now 8. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now 8. Now in the figure, okay, and we're going to highlight this again. SD is parallel to VU. It's parallel to this one. And then, okay, this is actually SV and TU. And then this other one, oh, let's just put it there. Then this one was parallel to this. Oh, let's just put it up. To this one. Okay. 
Now, don't forget this sentence. This is very important. Always start from the given angle and first work out the nearest angles. Okay. Now, where is the given angle? Can you all see? This is this, 65. So, if I start with this, um, if I want to get A, let's first do A. So, I'm going to say A plus 65 will be equal, look, there's my C or my U, 180. And that is supplementary angles. And the reason is interior angles because ST is parallel to VU. Okay. Now, so I can, can solve this. I subtract 65 from both sides. So I will get that the value of A is 180 minus 65. So therefore, the value of A will be equal to 115 degrees. Okay. So this will be 115. Now, now we can work out B. Now, B is exactly the same. Now, it's just another C. I was working with this parallel. Now, I'm working with the green parallel. So, let's just make this another color. I can say B plus that 115 will almost be the same as the top one. And it will be the same reason, the interior, co-interior angles. But now, the reason is just because SV is parallel to TU. Okay. Now we solve this and we find the value of B is 180 minus 115 and I will get therefore B equals 65 degrees. Okay. Now, so this one is 65 and now I must get the value of Okay, which one will I do now? Will I go first for C? Okay, let's first work out C. So I can, again, it's actually the same reason. So C, because again the C, it's just working with this red parallel lines. So C plus the 65 is equal to 180. And the reason is the interior angles. Um, and it will be SD parallel to VU. And then to get the value of C, it will be 180 minus 65. And my answer of C will be 115 degrees. Okay. So let's just get another color. This will also be 115 degrees. And now I'm going to get my value of D. Let's just move it up a little bit. So, which color can I take? D. So, to find D plus that 115, it's that straight line, is equal to 180 degrees. And the straight line, we say the adjacent angles on a straight line. And then we solve it by saying D is equal to 180 minus 115 and the value of D will be 65 degrees. Okay. And now, so this is again 65. Now to find the value of E, I will do exactly the same as this one. So if I want to find the value of E, do you see E? It's again a straight line, that green straight line. So E plus the 65 is, will be equal to 180. And the reason is the same as this one. So it's the adjacent angles on a straight line. So the value of E equals 180 minus 65. Therefore, the value of E is equal to 115 degrees. So this is also 115. And do I have another one? I think we reached the end. So we will find the E, and then I was just getting my last one. And that's all.